let's just say there's something like Iron Chef for tabletop games. Yeah. If you want, if you want that, you can run with yeah, it. I'll take yeah, my customer fifteen right. percent. So it's like the <laughs> unveiling of the components. Let's just say, which would be some constraints. Yeah. I'm not going to give you specific ones, but let's just say you yourself kind of locked in a room like old school Japanese manga artists, this would happen. Like the publishers would be like, you need to finish X number <laughs> of issues. Like we're going to keep you fed, but you're going to be in a room until you finish. Yeah, this yeah right. Intense. Yeah. There is, but, but let's just say that you had a week to design a game. Okay. You, you were allowed to have some playtesters come in for like the second half of the week. Okay. Generous of you. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm a very lenient <laughs> dictator. I'm known as the thoughtful warden. <laughs> How would you personally approach it? Like you can yeah. have pen and paper and all of the mock-up materials that you need. Yeah. How would you go about it? First of all, you don't need much more than pen and paper, honestly. Like, yeah. that's it. So the way I would go about it is I would say, okay, given this, maybe these blank cards and these Sharpie pens, which I travel around with everywhere, like that is all my bag is filled with. And blank cards, you mean like a plain- Yeah, like poker cards. Deck of cards. But blank white yeah. on both sides. Yeah. Where, where do you get those? Amazon. Uh, literally, I order them by the pallet at this point. It's nuts. <laughs> because they're so cool, right? Like you need to design yeah. a game. You got the cards. You need dice. I don't have dice. Great. I'll take six cards, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Shuffle them up. Draw a card. Hey, you got dice, right? Like cool. they're, they're everything. Yeah. They're absolutely everything. Yep. So the first thing I would look for is like, what can I do with these very simple components that creates a core gameplay loop that I'm excited about? And I can, I can rattle off 12 of those in an hour. That's, that's honestly mm -hmm. not the hard part. 12 different gameplay loops that you're familiar with? That I'm excited about, that I can okay. just invent. They're not that hard. It's like, okay, I'm going to give you a card and I'm going to keep a card and whoever has the highest card wins. But first we're going to have a conversation and we're, I'm making this up as I go. I'm going to try to bluff you. Like I'm going to try to get you to discard your card because you don't think there's any chance you can win and you can or still earn a little bit if I can get you to fold. Right. Right. Those are easy. Mm -hmm. I can come up with a yep. ton of those. And again, you notice the crux of that was we're entertaining each other. The conversation is actually the game. The cards don't matter. Mm -hmm. That's just my mantra over and over and over again. Yep. So we do that come up with a bunch of those. And then I need another person. I need at least one person that I can show these to, play the games with, and I only care about one question. In fact, we do all these play tests. We don't even give out surveys anymore. There's only one question we ask, which is, when you finish mm -hmm. playing the game, did you want to play again? Mm -hmm. And a game is done when 100% of the people say yes. And it never starts that way. It's always a whole yeah. bunch of no's. And let me tell you why and all that stuff. But, but that's the only question I care about. When you finish, did you want to play again? And if I can get a little bit of positive feedback there from a person showing a bunch of concepts to and one of them, they say, ooh, let's play that one again. And then you got to start thinking about, okay, why did they want to play that again? Well, maybe they had so much fun they wanted to play again. Maybe they thought they could do better the second time. So kind of a sense of, mastery that maybe they could achieve by playing again. And I try to identify what that thing is, what that compelling, that thing that kept pulling them back in and mm -hmm. double down on that, right? That's, that's the thing I want to shine most in the game. I'll start building the surrounding components all to emphasize that thing over and over and over again. And then generously, you let me have play testers at the end. <laughs> I'll start showing it to them. That is the point where I've got my components are done. My core gameplay loop is done. I've got a few of the peripheral things that are starting to get those cylinders to fire. Mm -hmm. Now let me put it through the paces and see what people think. Okay, so let's say day one. Yeah. So day one, you get you get seated in your comfortable yet not too comfortable cell. <laughs> you have this like hamster bottle yeah. full yeah, of yeah, coffee. Good, good, I love it. You got unlimited ramen and you have a table. You got your blank cards, paper, Sharpies. What is your brainstorming, if that's the right word yeah. to use, look like, right? Is it oh, questions? Right. Is it drawing cards? Visually or otherwise, is it just you sitting there staring at, at the wall, kind of running through things, rehearsing different things in your mind? What would that look like? I think the way that I approach that is I always imagine two of me. And mm -hmm. when I have... I need to physically touch and hold things, right? So even if the cards are blank, I do need to like hold six cards and shuffle six cards. And mm -hmm. 
Mm. And so if I'm holding them and I think, okay, me standing in front of me, if I were to give you this thing, what conversation could we have? It's, I think it's a lot like script writing. Like I start with the conflict. What is it yeah. that's going to drive the conversation? We can't be getting along. We can't have the same motivation. Me handing this thing to you better create a conflict that now we're going to try mm. to resolve. And that's really it. I think that's where all good ideas start from is like, mm -hmm. here we are in a room, you know, <laughs> there can be only one. So how are we going to yeah. resolve that? Because mm -hmm. here we are staring at a bunch of blank cards.